All right, so one of the first things you're gonna have to do in order to be able to access your Litecoin Cash is download the Litecoin Cash wallet, okay? So you can go to litecoinca.sh, let's litecoinca.sh, okay, this is the website. Okay, now this, this isn't fast, you're gonna have to download the wallet and it's gonna have to download the entire blockchain, okay? So this could take overnight for you. I like just know that it's going to take overnight and you're going to need at least 18 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive. Um, if you don't have that, um, your other alternatives are to um, call a friend who you trust, who you would trust giving 100% control of your money and have him put your private keys in his wallet and send you the funds. Uh, but that's pretty insecure and I don't recommend it. But if you just scroll down, okay, do it yourself. Like I say, it's going to take you overnight to set this up. But if you if you really want to get your Litecoin Cash, this is what you're going to have to do. Download the wallet for your computer. So for me, it's I need the Windows 64-bit. If you're Linux, get the Linux. If you're Mac, get the Mac. And that's it. You're like you're not going to be able to do it on a mobile wallet. Um, like you can't you can't do this on a mobile phone and you got to do this on a computer you have to have your private keys and all that so download it install it okay and then it's going to open up the litecoin cash core wallet that's what you need to open okay now i've already synced it and um um and it's just kind of going through the uh the syncing process and um as of this point i've already entered my private keys so i'll show you how to enter the private keys right now i have the litecoin core or litecoin cash core wallet downloaded now and in my exodus wallet um i don't need this right now um i had my litecoin in here okay and i've removed my litecoin from my exodus wallet okay because i'm you know we're gonna abandon this wallet for security reasons okay so if you have if you like that's why i suggested on my facebook to create a new exodus wallet to put your litecoin in all right and so if you have any other coins um if you have any other coins in your exodus wallet you either you have two options one just know that your litecoin portion okay the litecoin portion of your of your exodus wallet is now insecure moving forward it will be insecure so you can't store litecoin in here anymore safely or b you're going to have to create a new Exodus wallet and move all of your coins over to your new wallet so you can abandon this one, all right? Um, now, I've already mo removed my Litecoin from this wallet. You can see I had um, 16 Litecoin and I took my 16 Litecoin back out of this wallet, sent it back to an exchange, and I dumped it on the market, okay? Um, so now what we're going to do in order to access our Litecoin cash is we're going to push control shift d on the keyboard and that's going to pop up this advanced menu and then we're going to hit uh where it says exodus then we'll hit developer we're going to go into assets and then we're going to go down to litecoin and export private keys so click export private keys you want to click i'm sure and it's going to tell us that we have exported our private keys okay to um it'll say desktop if you're on windows it'll say desktop if you're on another operating system i have no idea It'll say desktop, Exodus, exports, Litecoin address, warning has private keys. Okay, fine. And then we're going to get out of Exodus. Now we need a Litecoin cash core wallet, okay? Uh, make sure you've downloaded it and it's synced to the network. And then what we're going to do is, firstly, we're also going to open our Litecoin private keys. All right. Okay, now in this file, it's going to list here, you have... You have an address, okay, it's comma separated file, okay? So after each comma, there's a new thing. So you have address, then you have path, that's just a path to the address within your wallet. Then you have balance, and then you have private key. Now, unfortunately, I don't know which one of these private keys contains... <laughs> This sucks. I don't know which one of these private keys contains my balance. I should have checked this before I started. So I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna go into file. We're gonna go into import private key. And unlike Electrum's wallets, we can't import a whole bunch. So we go here and go copy. We're gonna go here and go paste and go boom. 
Keys successfully added. Rescan now. Uh, select no if you have more keys to import. So we'll go no. Okay, and then we'll go next key. C, file, import, V. Okay, paste. Okay, I'm going to hit no. Okay, and we're going to do this all the way down to the end of this file, okay? Unfortunately, we've got to do them one at a time. Uh, and we're going to hit no because we don't want to rescan yet because I'm just going to import them all. That way there I have all of... Ah, oh, no, you know what? No, 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 no. You know what? This is, I know this is the address. Yes, because this is the deposit address. Guys, if you know your deposit address, you, this will be a lot quicker. I know that this is the address that I deposited all my Litecoin to. I did not use any of these other addresses. So you know what? All I need is this top private key, and it should allow me to access um, my keys so let me just add one more so i can tell it to rescan i hit okay and this time i'm going to hit yes now it should rescan and we should have our litecoin so let's allow this to go through um while i go get my pizza okay here it is um i have my wallet now and the the uh scanning took place and i now have my 155 ish um litecoin cash in my wallet okay um, there was a glitch though, as when the scanning completed, I ended up having a, an error that looked like this, at least in windows, I had this, uh, visual C++ runtime error and I ended up, it just, it glitched out. I had to close it. Then I opened the program and then it basically spent the last half hour here, just, um, uh, rescanning the blockchain again. And, but now it seems like it's ready to use. Okay. So. Now, it's very important if you're going to continue to use Exodus, okay, let me just open it. Um, you can go, so now you have your Litecoin Cash Core Wallet, so you can go ahead, and I know they're trading on um, on Yobit, so you can just go to Yobit, get your Litecoin Cash address over there, and enter it there and send your Litecoin Cash over, which I'm going to do in a bit. I don't think I need to show you guys how to make a transaction. You can figure out how to do that, all right? Um, now, it's very important. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll do that later. Um, remind me later. Okay, we because our we've now made this um, Litecoin wallet in Exodus. We have made it insecure. Okay, so we need to eliminate this Exodus wallet and allow it to create a brand new wallet so that you um, uh, like you 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 don't lose your money because the Litecoin Cash wallet or sorry the Litecoin wallet is insecure. So let's look at how to do that now. So again, in our advanced menu, I'm going to click on Exodus. I'm going to go to developer and I'm just going to go to data folder and I'm going to go here to where it says, um, open data folder. I don't think there's any other way. Um, network wallet. Okay. I don't see any other way. So we're just going to go to data folder. Now here's the thing. Um, I'm just going to go in here to Exodus. Okay. So right here where it says exodus.wallet, this is your Exodus wallet, okay? In here contains all of the information for your Exodus wallet. So here's what's gonna happen. Make sure guys, if you have any other coins in here, you move them because we're abandoning this wallet. We're never gonna use it again because we've now um, put our private keys into another piece of software that we're not even sure if this software is secure. Right, like I'll tell you honestly, I don't trust it at all. Right, I'm not. Um, I'm definitely not using this Exodus wallet anymore. So, get all your coins out of here. Do something with them, or create another wallet, or, or whatever you're gonna do. It's why I suggest in the beginning to create a brand new Exodus wallet, and when you're going to do, when you're gonna hold coins for a fork. Okay, so I'm gonna exit Exodus, and it should be closed. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to just change this to old um and i'm just going to call it old forked ltc so that i know what we've done with it okay now what we're going to do is go ahead and open exodus again and at this point we should now have um uh, let me just go i'll do the update later okay and it should be a brand new wallet okay now you see when i click wallet there's no more transaction history I hit receive this is a completely different address than I had before 
So that's a success. We now have a brand new wallet. And watch, if I, we go back, uh, Control Shift D, and I go Exodus, Developer, and I go to Data Folder and Open Data Folder, and click on Exodus. Okay, now you'll see it generated a new folder called Exodus.Wallet. So that's our old wallet, okay, that has our insecure port wallet. And then here's our new wallet. That's completely empty and brand new. So actually, if you have coins in your old wallet, you can you can change these. And as whichever one is named Exodus.wallet is going to open when you open Exodus. Okay. So you could just get your address here because we're in the new wallet. Receive, copy this address. Okay. And then you can go back or, or whatever addresses. I mean, all your coins. If you have coins in your old wallet. Okay. You can go and let's say you have Decred, right? And you can go here, hit receive, get your address in the new wallet. And then you can exit Exodus. And then you can just change these around. Okay, so we can go F2 and change this to new wallet. And then go here and change this back to Exodus.wallet. Okay, now restart Exodus. And then you can send Decred to your new wallet. Understand what I mean? So, but either way, guys, whatever your old wallet is, let me just put these back. Okay, let me just put these back to the way that they were so that um, everything is back to the way I want it. Okay, uh, but yeah, so you can, that's how you can uh, change change your funds between your old wallet and new wallet just inside of Exodus. Just a quick little, just a quick little description of how to do it, guys. But I hope that helps you gain access to your Litecoin Cash because, I mean, they're trading right now at like $7 a piece. So to me, it was pretty good money. I ended up, you know, 16 coins times you know well actually 15.5 is what i have in the wallet right yeah 154.9 yeah that's right okay so one five whoop one five four point nine and how much is this going for right now well i guess we're down a little bit so we're at um 0056 so we're only about six dollars right now so that's about six bucks um yeah 154 times 0.000564. Good enough. So we have 0 0.087 Bitcoin times 11,400 right now. So guys, I made a thousand bucks, 996 bucks. I made a thousand bucks just for moving my Litecoin from an exchange, putting it in the wallet for like an hour. And then after the fork, I put it back in the exchange and I made a thousand bucks for that. Like it's wicked. And if you look at this, Litecoin, or Litecoin Cash did hit up to um, 0 0.0009 Bitcoin, which is like which is like 10 bucks at 11,500. That's that's 10 bucks. So assuming it goes back up to there, I have you know 1,500 bucks that I'm sitting here. So I'm going to take this money and I'm going to buy myself another ant miner. Um, until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. Ciao.